Good morning from Lake St. Clair. What is cranking wieners? It is day number two on this big bodacious body of water. We are uh, setting out again solo today. We've got some very, very sketchy weather that is going to uh, develop later in the afternoon. It looks beautiful right now, but this is the scariest part about Lake St. Clair is it can be extremely deceiving. You get out here, you look out on the horizon, it's like, oh, it's flat, calm. As soon as your prop touches the water, St. Clair knows, and it bears its ugly teeth, and that's when the wind starts to come through. So we're supposed to get like 15 to 60 mile per hour winds, which is probably five miles per hour more than what we had yesterday. So I gotta watch myself today. We still have a lot of homework to do. Actually getting out a little bit earlier, which is good, so I have some more time to catch some big fish. Got some pretty decent reports from some viewers, a few of you guys that were also out here fishing. I, I think I'm gonna try some different tactics. I'm gonna try some different presentations. Probably gonna lean more towards the Ned today, more towards a different style of drop shot fishing. I've got a bigger leader now. I'm gonna throw some smaller plastic. Just kind of mess around with some stuff that I wasn't doing yesterday. Like I don't wanna do exactly what I was doing yesterday, of course, because that wasn't the 100% ticket. We're gonna play around with some concepts and some ideas and hopefully find some, some spots that we get to fish at the end of August. I'm excited, I'm pumped. Stick with it, stay tuned, and let's go get them. I think I might be the only aluminum bass tractor out here today. That's for sure. That is for shiz. Oh my God, it is freaking, it is sporty out here. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, brother. It's sporty out here. Well, this is not as, no, 15 foot. 15 foot with cab, uh, not really cabbage, but some grass. Not an awful looking spot. Today I'm just kind of focusing on doing drifts opposed to selectively picking out specific bass like I was yesterday. Kind of tough to scope fish out with the wake. My transducer is barely even in the water half the time. Might be one or two on the bottom there. Might be a couple. Some really decent grass, that's for sure. Oh, oh I just had one. I just had a nice one. Oh my God, on the big drift, just had a nice one. Damn, dude, I thought I was going through weeds. It felt just like weeds. Shoot. First good bite, first good bite. That felt like a nice one, holy moly. Shoot. Pulled me down too. Deep hands, deep hands to me. Bless it. Bless it, bless it, bless it. Got such a strong drift going. I'm almost going like at a mile an hour. I do have some drift, drift socks, but I don't know if it's really worth putting those things out right now. Son of a wiener. It literally just felt like weeds. I don't know if you guys could see the rod tip on the GoPro, but it went like, all the way down the boom boom. There at the end, it started to freaking clap away. There's one right there. Good one. On the drop. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Not a bad one. Oh, he just came up. I don't know how big this fish is, but he feels decent. Ooh, is that a walleye? Is that a small one? That's a small one. That's a good one too, not bad. There we go. We're hooked up, boys. We're hooked up. Oh, it's a nice one, man. It's a nice smallmouth. Woo! Don't do that, Bubba. Don't do that, Bubba. Come on. Good smallie. Good smallmouth. Very nice fish. Oh, oh, he just came off. No! Shit. Oh, the drift is too much. Pulled hooks. That was like a four fucking pounder. No! No! Damn it. The wind is too much. I'm, I'm drifting at like a mile an hour. Oh, that was an absolute unit. That was an absolute freaking unit. I could, he wasn't even fighting. I was just pulling him in. That might've been my only chance for today of getting a bite before this wind comes in. That was a big one. No. I had a feeling he was gonna pull hooks. Damn it. That was right on the drop too, man. Absolutely clobbered me. I got like a mile an hour drift. Oh, brother. Well, that's a bummer. Gonna go fish some inland stuff. That was a big bass, man. That was a big bass. I'm super bummed. Son of a bitch. Oh. Well, I made it to some safer water. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is where they're gonna be. This is a nice little calm spot. <laughs> it's so funny, right here behind this point, it's nice. But out there, no. 
Absolutely not. Absolutely freaking not. I'm so pissed, dude. I freak, freaking found some fish, got hooked up, dumped them, typical John B. fashion. And uh, I had to get out of there, man. That was just like the start of what was about to go down. You guys can probably see it off the horizon. Nice and yellow and sunny over there. And then you've got this front that's coming in. It's supposed to last all day too, which kind of sucks. It's all good. You know, maybe maybe this maybe things will pan out. This might uh, this might work out in our favor. I, I don't I don't really know. Um, this is not not where I want to be fishing right now, but we're gonna try it anyway. Uh, we're in about nine feet of water. <laughs> I don't know about this spot, but we're gonna try it. There's one. No way. What is that? Small one? Oh, no kidding. Oh, there's some fish over here. I'm marking some more. Whoa, okay. Maybe this isn't a terrible idea. 10 feet of water, nothing huge. I don't know if there's anything big up here, but some little small will keep us busy. There's some more on the bottom. Look at those ones, like actually some freaking bass. There we go, first fish of the day. <laughs> Not as big as my first one, but we'll take it. <sighs> really can't do much on a day like today. Nice one, man, okay. Not a scoreable fish, but frick, well. Take anything we can get at the moment. I literally was throwing this crankbait around and I saw this one on the, on the bottom. I was like, ah, I wonder if that's a bass. Sure enough, there she goes. All right, the wind picked back up. My opportunity to catch a fish offshore lasted about 45 minutes. Let's just say I, I, uh, I got throttled a bit. I'm soaked. Some equipment actually decided to break on the way to this probably last spot of the day. It's freaking ridiculous, man. This. This lake is so sketch. I mean, it is so freaking sketch unless you're completely outfitted with the right boat. I just got lit up out there, my lord. Oh my God, dude, the bow of the boat literally went completely in the air. I was like, okay, this is it. I'm sinking the boat, 100%. What's so great too is the days that I'm gone, um, it's gonna be five mile per hour wind. So I'm literally just getting my ass handed to me. And then as soon as I leave, it's gonna be beautiful. Go figure, huh? out here oh my gosh <laughs> it's nasty I'm gonna have to go inland again because it just all of a sudden decided to turn back on and kick my ass Woo! it's sketchy like real sketchy right now we're off the circus that was quite the show one small month one small month is all I caught today I'd, I'd love to stay out here and keep grinding but I'm afraid more things are gonna break I already had a graph mount split on me which i now need to repair and uh yeah a few other things here and there decided to come loose it just happens when you're out there in that rough water i'm confident that i know where the fish were or at least are i just couldn't stay in that spot for very long like i was just getting tossed around but i don't know i'm not super stoked on my performance today i didn't really figure much out i figured out how to break stuff that's one thing i figured out how to do on this lake uh, other than that nothing nothing right home about nothing to report This tracker has seen better days. Good morning, wieners. Welcome back. Day number two. Winds decided to kick up. Got up to almost like 20 mile per hour winds. Storm front rolled in. Only caught one fish. Lost potentially the biggest of the trip. Day number three, which is today right now. We had a huge storm that rolled in last night. Unfortunately, decided to almost sink the boat right around 3 a.m. I woke up in a cold sweat realizing that uh, I don't have a cover on my boat and my boat also doesn't have an auto bilge. So I ran outside in my undies and my Sims jacket and I'm like staring at the boat. I'm like, I'm like, why is why is it by my boat? I was like, why does my boat look like that? Sure enough, the bow of the boat, which is the front, was completely nose up. The ass end was almost water level with the canal. And I'm thinking to myself, holy shit, I could have almost sunk my boat. We had so much rain last night that it filled my boat up to the point that it was weighing it down so much that we were maybe a couple more hours away from water actually going over the gunnel. The bilge ran for about an hour and a half until I got completely all the water out. And this morning, as you may be able to tell, she's still cooking. Take a look at this. You just gotta love it, you gotta love it. And it's so great too, because I charged my starter battery, which also feeds the bilge all last night. So I'm basically losing all that power for my graphs. <sighs> it's not the best way to start the day. St. Clair is absolutely kicking my ass. At the moment, we're just waiting for the boat to finish its AM pissing session. And it looks like this storm front might pass in about an hour which means 
we'll be able to get out there and hopefully go crank some smallmouth. So stick with us, stay tuned. Welcome to day number three on Lake St. Clair. That's how you get it done. Oh my God, dude, this is a joke, right? Holy sh Shout out to this head. You gotta be joking. I used to think people with big boats knew what they were doing and, and until I started fishing a whole lot. I'm convinced that like the bigger the boat, the dumber you are. It's like, what the f was that for? I'm not having a good day out here. This is a struggle. There we go. I'm on. About time. Oh, there's another one down there. Another one down there. Oh my God. There's another one just as big down there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, boys. That's a good fish. I saw him behind, behind the boat. Threw my worm over there and he crushed it. It's been so slow. I haven't been able to make much happen today, but that that will take a nice little two and a half pound smallmouth. Oh, you have no idea how hard I've worked for you, little guy. <laughs> There's another one with them too. I saw them both on the graph. Nice fish. Thank you, Jimmy. Whew, boy. Wow. Lake St. Clair has not been nice today. Just about as bad as how yesterday went down. I've only really hooked maybe two fish, landed like one. That's not what makes today so rough. What makes today so rough is the fact that I've broken yet another piece of equipment on the boat. I don't know how this happened, but um, my transducer for my side scan unit completely ripped off. I thought I ran aground. I was in the middle of the lake and all of a sudden I hear like this clunking noise. I'm like, holy shit, am I in like a foot of water? Um, and then I look back and my transducer's in my boat, completely ripped the screws out. So I have two little tiny holes in my boat, which I kind of filled with some spare screws, luckily that I had in the rig and I'm just turning the bilge on periodically. It's such a freaking circus out here. I'm gonna run one last spot and then unfortunately I have to put the boat back on the trailer and repair this thing because I literally have two holes in my boat. They're not big holes, but they're holes and I gotta get it fixed. Yeah, luckily the Airbnb is uh, right next to a marine store, so I'm definitely gonna make a trip over there. Caffeine is always good, but sometimes only yogurt and they am get you going, make you have to poop. Oh my God, it's been years. I haven't had one of these in a while. Barely awake. Good morning. It is day number one of official practice for the US Bass Pro Open. Now I've got my buddy Ryan, which I don't, I don't know where he's at. He might be pooping. Ryan might be taking an AM dumb ski. Uh, Ryan's traveled all the way from Bangor, Maine to St. Clair, Michigan to join me as my partner, my official tournament partner. And we have all day today and tomorrow to really grasp St. Clair by the nuts. Um, I'm just up early in the kitchen right now, packing some food, which is essential. We got the Guggen Core all ready to go. We got, uh, of course, an avocado, some Chick-fil-A sauce, some bars, and uh, my favorites, some Milani's, which is just straight caffeine. It's honestly just borderline diesel fuel. Gets you going. Food is packed. I ate my yogurt. I'm ready to roll. <laughs> you ready? Let's go crush. Let's go catch some uh, different brown things. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh. If St. Clair kicks our ass. But today, at least, we've it's, it's blessed this amazing sunrise. Um, current time is actually 6.08. It's not as early as I thought. We're going to go jump to different parts of the lake that I've not fished yet, which is essentially on the other side. Try something new. There's gonna be a lot of boats out on the water today because it is official practice. Two giants right there. catch you there it is right in your head dude they are not reacting at all there's two fish oh wait hang on i spoke too soon no they're not eating it it's so strange oh wait got him he had it the whole time 
Oh wow, that's decent with Jesus Christ. That's yeah, a pretty good one. Definitely gonna... Here we go. That's our first fish of the day. Kind of a gnarly first fish, too. That's probably going to go close to three. Wow, that's a good fish. What do we have for weight? I'm going to guess high twos or three, uh, three pounds, five ounces. That's a good fish. Thank you so much. I'm going to release him normally there. Wow, dude. He had it the whole time. Oh, I know, dude. Yes, yes, like my. Look at my nuts. It's thick. Oh, I think I got one. I do. Okay, little one. I think. Maybe not. No. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good fish. Definitely scoreable. Cool. Well, let's probably throw a waypoint down here. Where's all that fight when you're in the water? Yeah, Dude, seriously. choked it too. Here we go. Fish number two. This little like two pounder that would definitely help us. I'm gonna throw a weight point down here. Two five. So we have a three five and a two five. That's a two pounder. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Not a bad one. Take it. Good stuff. So, so if we're out here on our boat fishing and we want to cross the border on the lake, like we're out here fishing, we want to we're fishing right up against the border on the United States side, but we want to go over to the Canada side but not leave the boat and go on shore. Are we allowed to do that? We are allowed to do that. Okay. Apparently, that kid. Apparently, uh, yeah, so we can fish Canada as long as we have a Canadian fishing license. I thought it was still cl closed due to whatever, you know, um, but it's not. So tomorrow might have spent a lot of time over in the Canadian side because I've heard that's truly better fishing, period. Here I am thinking that I will go to jail if I go uh, across the border, but it's good. We went to go fill up for gas, met a, uh, a viewer, and he's like, yeah, you know, you can fish the Canadian side. I'm like, ah, no, you can't. Because I, you know, I do my homework, I, I cross my T's and dot my, or in this case, I, I dot my T's across my eyes. Wow, okay, so tomorrow we might spend all day in Canada. We just need a Canadian fishing license. Classic John B. Yeah, you know, you can fish, like, you can now open, oh, fuck, anyway. Let's get back to it, just a little midday update for you guys. Holy titties, I'm an idiot. Spot number one, 710, that's when we're getting started. We took about a, what was that, maybe 20, 15, 15 mile run? Probably. Yeah. 15 mile run across the border, wasn't terrible. Got here in like 20 minutes. And we're fishing the Canadian side. It feels weird to be in Canada right now. This is good. I like fishing new water. Unfortunately, we really didn't, I didn't, unfortunately I didn't get too much time to fish Canada when I was here last, which sucks. Oh wait, oh my God. Bunch of little perch down there falling on my swim bait. Kind of using today to switch things up I, you know we know we can get bit on the drop shot so i want to try to fish some more faster moving stuff i'm throwing a little saucy swim around underspin at the moment giving that a dangle did see a lot of bait when we first pulled up to this area so it has me thinking that maybe they're feeding on some little minnows in the morning and then later in the day we'll have to slow things down i don't know really really still i'm honestly still scratching my head from yesterday that was weird oh my god that was so weird about to eat it and then spooks. That was a bigger fish. It might be white bass, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I saw the shad spray. Yeah. Could be perch or white bass, but that's pretty sick. You know what they say? Life breeds life. Oh wow, look at that hog. Oh shit, he's running for my worm. Oh my god, Ryan, right there, those are smallmouth. Yeah, I know. Those are smallmouth. Yeah. Those are smallies. Yeah. Go, 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 quickly, quickly, quickly. I got one on me right now. <laughs> How cool is that, dude? Lake St. Clair Small is busting in 17 feet of water. You gotta follow her, you gotta follow her. Yeah, keep I going, can't. keep going. Dude, that thing's huge! No, you didn't have it, you didn't have it, you didn't have it. You did not have it. Oh my God. That thing was enormous. Can you throw it back out there? It's like my dream, dude. There's another one up there. Another another small up there. Where's AP with the ladder when we need him, boys? I cannot believe you just did that. <laughs> Um, that was really stupid, man. I'm not gonna lie. I had one on me too that went down on it, but just didn't commit. They're eating bait. I think that's the deal, you know. The little bait that they're eating too is little like silver side. I don't even know what they are, like little minnows. Or something. That thing was huge. I never. That was like a striper, dude. Yeah. I've never seen a small do that ever. It was huge. The thing was built different. Oh, 
There we go. About fucking time, dude. No, little. Oh, walleye. Well, oh, found a school walleye. Stop me up. What's that? Absolute bona fide pee pee heads. He's dead. I killed him. I killed him, Ryan. Do we eat him then? Yeah. Ryan! I'm gonna go home. This is not fun anymore. Look at that one. Tiny little f fish, you know, just mm. cruising along. Tits out of the sand, which is good, which is what you want. But then I guarantee, I guarantee, look at that. I let him so perfectly. He sees the way. Look at that one coming up. Mm -hmm. God bless America. Oh, he's actually coming up towards it. There's multiple fish. Oh, he's got it. See, yeah, that's him. Good? Yeah, it's a small enough. Not bad. Probably like two. Huh, okay. I kind of like that. That was nice. Okay. Not done yet. Where you want. And then that, nope, oh, nope. He's still pissed. Oh, this had to piss. Okay, good job. Yeah, about a two pounder. First, first smallmouth of the day for me. Finally caught one that we could see. That was pretty interesting. There's a couple actually more down there. I don't know, it's so weird. Like, you, you know, you'll go through a pile of, look, there's a lot down there. You go through a pile of fish that just don't want anything to do with it, and all of a sudden you find the right one. Not a giant, but like, you know, if you get five of these early in the morning, that's pretty clutch. Thanks for playing. I'll catch you later. Ew. You okay? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I just sh right there. It's too early. It's too early for that. The it's too early <laughs> for that, man. I thought you were going in in. <laughs> How do oh. your nuts feel? Dude, I literally just went, like, set my foot on the edge. And it was just so you. You put a lot of weight on it, though. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> a big energy on that foot. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, Jesus, here he goes. He's, yep. he's, yeah, okay. Bye, Ryan. Dude, money can't fix stupid. I've been trying to... <laughs> trying to really invest a lot in fixing my stupid and it just doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> oh boy what do we have that ain't a walleye walleye's not gonna fight like that carp? could be a carp actually very well could be a carp he ate whatever it is but the marks down there didn't look that big what dude what the it's f huge i'm watching it on the screen right now oh it's big pike oh, yeah. I was like, it'd be crazy if a musky came through here. That pike is eating whatever is down there. Yeah. I don't know what's down there, but literally can catch anything but a fucking small up in this lake. I'm hooked to like probably one of my better northern pikes I've ever caught. And it's on a drop shot of all things. They'll fit in the net. Eh. He's 10 pounds. Yeah. I'm gonna just grab in the camera. I swear. I swear we can get everything but. I knew he was gonna, I knew he was gonna do that. I swear we can get everything but a smallmouth this trip. Rock bass, walleye, perch, and now a pike. Guess what this thing ate? A drop shot. <sighs> get back down there. It's been tough, man. Find, like I said, finding fish is no issue. Something to do with this weather. It being too calm, it just being in the middle of summer, so much pressure. I don't know what the cause is, but these fish are super weird. Excuse the burp. I just slammed energy drink we got in this one spot which is close to where we started fishing this morning and there's literally fish i don't know if you guys can see that there's fish everywhere i think that they're little bait fish or something they're not that small but i think that they're like maybe white fish or i don't know they're not perched because we'd be getting bit by them if they were perched and i threw my drop shot and i think that pike was hunting that bait and i got hit and i was like oh my god we're in a giant school small sure enough big pike so I mean, at least we did catch something decent size. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that was fun to hear the drag. It that was, was fun to hear the drag peel off a bit, but still a little bit grumpy. Anyway, let's keep going. That's all we can do. Keep fishing. Hey, Ryan Barzakini and John Gideon, and uh, <laughs> they're gonna be weighing in their one fish. Uh, looks like, oh yeah, nice. It's a pike. Right on. <laughs> so guys, what'd you catch them on today? Well, I found a school of whatever the f down there, and uh, you know, I just dropped my dropped my little worm in that in that zone and. and like like literal magic, the thing came up and crushed it. So what you're telling me is everything is biting today except the smallmouth. Yep, uh, Roger that, uh, Johnny. That's about the the idea that's going on. 
I also spent about 45 minutes total picking flies out of my butt cheeks. Uh, but when I wasn't doing that, I was looking at fish in my panoptics and not being able to catch them. Right on, that's cool, man. Uh, well, hey, thanks for coming out here and uh, joining us on this. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that thing, that thing honestly bit my worm, hoping that I would take it home. I think he wanted to die. Yeah, you know, he did not want to live. How many rods you or you can just choose to do what I would probably do, just take the reel off and throw the whole thing in the lake. <laughs> Here, I just tied a knot. Good luck that happening again. There you go. Just throw that down there for me, Chief. Thanks, I just did it myself. Whoa, dude, look at that. Put on a cracker, dude. Faith. Put on a cracker, dude. While we wait, we hide. Ah, great. Come on, man. What was that, you? That was my stomach. I don't know, that doesn't sound good. My stomach went, mm. It just released something, but yeah. it didn't leave your body. No. That's not good. No. Well, oh, dude, it's still alive. Is it yeah. Is it a... It's still alive, whatever it is. Hey, get away from that yeah, car. car. Yeah, it might be a sucker, actually. Sucker, I didn't know her. This is crazy. This, these two seagulls are bullying this carp that looks like it's about to die. It's still alive. Oh, they poked its eyes out. Oh, that's fucking savage. Did you see that? Y'all yeah, are rude. Blech. What a dick. He literally pooped his eyeball out. And we just ran him over with our prop. Yeah. Well, the things you see on Lake St. Clair. Dude, they literally just went for his eyeball. Yeah. Oh. You know what they say? Nature is metal. All right. I don't know what bite. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, he heard that splash. Whoa, you see that? He went up for it. Hang on, he's got it. Right over the knee, bud. Right over the <laughs> I don't get it! is officially over two days of very grueling lake st Clair bass fishing we have a lot to a lot of ground to cover tomorrow which is not good because tomorrow's derby day i think in the morning we're gonna go zoom to some spots where we saw some fish feeding on the surface we're having the same wind tomorrow at uh, excuse me at 6 a.m tomorrow the wind forecast calls for calm not one not two not three miles per hour but just calm i've never in my entire life ever seen my weather app say that i don't know we'll see like i said we're gonna have fun it's all about the experience fish the experience my dad always says and uh, we're just gonna give it our all. Zero expectations for tomorrow, but we're gonna see if we can crank them. Good morning, wieners. It's a big day, it's a big derby day. Things are gonna start it off super early this morning. We launched at, uh, what, like five something? 515? This is what boat we are. 215 out of 250 boats. They just called 101. So <laughs> we're going to be here for a bit. It is going to be so busy. There's two other tournaments going on plus ours today. So it's going to be a lake full of boats. There's going to be more boats than I think actual water today. We're ready. We're stoked. Rods are rigged. I got a jerk bait. I got two drop shots. And we're going to go run some grass, some deep grass, and maybe just maybe get lucky. I'm probably going to be throwing most of the day on my drop shot of flatworm. Um, I think it's the best bait in the boat. <laughs> So. That's, that's literally what everyone's been saying. I must be old and not a loop, but apparently there's this special worm that people have been catching them on. It's supposed to be really good, but I just I just go out there and I just throw a worm and just make it happen. Or sometimes just don't make it happen. Maybe maybe we maybe we should have gotten a couple. You excited? I'm excited. 215. Thank you. Ballistic. Here we go. 
There's my first fish of the day. Walleye. It's a shame we're not fishing a walleye derby. There's one right beneath us. Small one. Small one. Yeah. First fish today. We'll take it. That might not be 14, but I'll see. 14 inch minimum out here on St. Clair. Not gonna help us a lot, obviously, but like I said, I just want to weigh in five fish. I don't care what we place. Since last time we only laid in one. Stung them good. These hooks are awesome. First fish. Nice little small jaw. Nice. There you go, buddy. Number one. Cool. Dropped right at his head. He came right under us. There he is. Come over here. Hold on. You got him. That's the fish. That's the one I saw. It's a good fish. Touch your drago if you need to. It's a good bass. It's a giant. It's an absolute giant. It's an absolute giant. It's the one I saw. Let him go if he needs to. Walk with me. Just keep clenching, but also keep that drag. Yeah. That's a good fish, man. Talk to me, what's going on? <laughs> Did you just get your biggest smallest ever yeah. on Lake St. Clair in a tournament? <laughs> Look at that fish, dude. Oh my god. It's so big. I saw him on the grass. I was gonna make a cast and Ryan's like, hold on. How's that feel? Dude, I'm shaking. Is that on the dragon side? Yeah. Nice job. Let's get him in the box. I'll worry about this fish, keep fishing. Okay. If you need to grab another drop shot rod, that other one's ready to go. Nice job, man. Nice job. She's good. She's good. Thank you. Yep. Nice fing job, man. Let's go. Dude, that makes it worth it. That's why we're here, buddy. Fighting pretty good, that's a small one, I think. Walleye. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at walleye. Oh my god, that thing's huge. Yeah. Literally a perch bite at first, and then this guy picked it up. Well, again, I'm, whatever I'm throwing is really good for walleye. I probably should switch. That's why I switched. Yeah. Damn. He's long. Yeah, he's long. Thanks, man. <laughs> that's so funny. Freaking walleye. Freaking walleye. There's a nice walleye. <laughs> Not a bad one, actually. Not at all. It's like it's crazy. It's full of everything. See you, buddy. Uh, not the right species, I don't think. Nope. That'd be full now. I kind of thought that was. Oh. Where are they? Oh, Jesus. It'd be nice if they just started erupting right now. I'll be ready when the time comes. So, that. Oh, there we go. Hello, sister. Can we just find some fish that just chew? I don't even care if they're two pounds. I just want to come with five. Come on, come on. Yeah. So, oh, look at that one up high. Oh my god, dude. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Okay, ready? Hang on. There we go. Come on, please be enough. Please be enough. Coming up for it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good fish. Good smallie. Good smallie. Good smallie. 
How clutch is that? Oh, good fish. I don't know if he's giant, but he's a good fish. How clutch is that, dude? Oh, yeah. He's got a, he's got a he's partner. Another one with him. Yep. Oh, he's another one with him. Should I throw the other jerk bait Yes. No, just no, just drop a lure. Just drop a lure quickly, quickly, quickly. Just drop the drop shot. Right there, right where my fish is at. There you go. Let it sink. I got this fish. I'll handle him. Do you have him? We're good here. We're good here. I got him. Fish number three. Nice job. On the jerk bait. That was so dirty, dude. Nothing huge, but we'll take him. That was so cool. Ryan and I saw these fish suspended. This is a spot where we saw them feeding on bait not too long ago, or actually yesterday. And uh, we hoped that they would be up top again, and sure enough, they were. This is not a giant, but it's a good fish. It's weird, the fish over on this Canadian side, in this in this spot in particular, they were, they were feeding on bait and such. It's not a massive fish, but we'll take them. We'll take them regardless. It's fish number three for us. Green tag. Just a heads up, green is big, small is white. That's the kind of fishing I love to do. Good as it gets. Oh, oh yeah. I saw him. Oh, he's right there. Oh, dude. Drop back down. Oh, my God, dude. They're everywhere over here. Come on again. Another one. Just came off. Just came off. Oh, boy, dude. Oh, boy. I just lost him. Oh, Good fish, too. Okay. We got this. Come on. Let's get a limit right here. Going towards it. Holy shit. Just hit it. Did it break off? Nope, just lost him. That's a good fish. Back on it. Nice small one. Yeah, that's a good one. Good fish. No, 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 Ryan, 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 Ryan. Ryan. Help me out, man. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't want him to jump no, into the boat and come off. Head first, head first. You got this. Oh, yeah. Wait until she gets up top. Like right now. There you go. Nice job. Got him. That's a four pounder. That's a nice fish. <laughs> Should go high threes, no doubt. There's number four. Wow. I hooked him once, lost him. You can actually see where I hooked him. Look at that. In the top of the mouth? Right the first time. Yep. Missed him. That's a good one. We'll take it. We need to start. We need to get five and start calling. Nice fish. We'll take that. Got some brown in the well. Light bite, like a bluegill. Under the boat, too. Oh, I think I need to retie. Dude. Oh, stretched out. No, watch this. Yeah. The fact that I landed that fish is absolutely insane. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I had a fray in my line and I just pulled it ever so slightly and it broke. Got very lucky with that fish, that's for sure. I shortened up the leader today, too. I don't know if it made a huge difference, but like. We're only going like maybe with a 20 inch leader. I don't know. These these fish uh, yesterday were feeding on shiners or shad or something, and they were pushing whatever bait it was on the surface. These fish over here are the most aggressive bass that we've seen in the past two days. For whatever reason, these fish have kind of hit a lull. I've heard a lot of anglers say that it's been tough. So we came over here, which is on the Canada side, and uh, we started off finding a few suspended, cranked that one on uh, the jerk bait. And now we're slowing things down. We're just like, moving around looking for fish that are just loafing around in the sand and also in the grass throwing dragon drops this dragon drop is right here is in a uh what is what color is this wow oh, i'm an idiot i forget the name of this color but sunset bug it's a really cool color it's got a brown brown belly with a purple back something that kind of stands out it looks nothing like what they they're probably eating mostly moth are eating craws gobies or or a little perch but i think the fact that it looks different is what gets them going throwing this on a seven five rod for my leader i'm using eight pound fluorocarbon. And for the main line, I'm using 10 pound, 10 pound test uh, braid. It's good to use fluoro in this cleaner water here at St. Clair because these fish can be super finicky. There's been hundreds, I mean, literally probably thousands of boats in the past two days, guys practicing fishing tournaments. So these fish have seen a lot. They're a little bit, uh, a little bit scarred. These fish have been through nom and back. So I'm throwing something that's quite low key, moving it slow and steady gets them to eat. Um, the ones that are suspended, they seem to be reacting to the jerk bait. We had a few on the top water yesterday too. So this has been a very decent day. A lot better than our practice, I would say. It's not lights out. It's not like it's eons above what we have been doing, but it is good to get some fish in the boat. And we've, you know, Ryan just caught his biggest smallest bass ever, which is just incredible in itself. I thought it was gonna be hot and heavy when we first pulled up. He's got those two to eat the jerk bait, but then 
seems like it slowed down, but these ones over here seem way more willing to eat. And yesterday we saw probably, what, like 40 freaking boats in this spot? There's not a single boat here now, which is so strange. It's a nice fish. Still down there. I see him. You're not getting hit? I won't fall in my swimmer right now. I won't fall in my swimmer right now. Dude, there's so many down there. It's like a wolf pack. They're all smallmouth. He's falling it in. It's a big one that's following me. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. This one sees my swim bait. One's drilling it. Yep. Got him. Net. Net, please. Eat the fish. Number five. Another one with him. Yep. Could probably, if we keep on these fish, we could probably start calling. Right now. Right now. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. It's number five, dude. We got a limit. <laughs> That's all I said I wanted to do. I just want to get a limit. Let's get real. That one was on a saucy swimmer, 3.3. Absolutely, dude, that fish choked it. Holy moly. If we stay here and catch all these fish, we can call, Ryan. You know that, right? Yep. We can start calling. Number five. About a two pounder. Putting some of this stuff in our live hole today just because it is hot. We want to keep these fish stress free. Holy ball sack, you think hammered it. Maybe try the drop shot, I don't know. Maybe you throw something, I'll throw the drop shot, something. How do we find those fish? We're just motoring along. Yeah. Wait, Dude, wait. look at that thing come all the way up off the bottom. Like, crush this drop shot. Crush this drop shot with all your fucking might. It's going down. Shh. You shade it. Good fish. Good fish, man. Oh my god, Jack. Nice one. Nice one. What's that? Get here fast. I know, but then when I get to the boat, dude, that's a really nice fish. So get ready with that net, that's a good one. That's a call for us. Hit him now, hit him now. Dude, this is, dude. that is a fucking beast. That is a beast. That is our first He's call of the hooked. day. He's literally not even up. Skin hooked. They're not biting it super hard. Get back down, there's another one. That is our first call of the day. That call is a one pounder. This is good. This is actually shaping up to be amazing. Alright, okay, buddy. Here is our call. That's quite good. Alright, buddy. See you later. Thank you for playing while you're dead. Woo! Oh, cast on, dude. Be nice. oh my god, dude. He's coming right up for it. Look at that. He just ate it. Good fish, man. Dude, there's bait spraying everywhere. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. That's gonna call. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'll say my high twos are three, maybe. Yeah, it's a good fish. Oh yeah. You ready? Nice. Good job. Thanks, man. I think that's gonna call my one on the jerk bait. That was cool. <laughs> Choked it too. This is our second call of the day. Yeah, he was moving fast. There's a lot of meat in this box, man. Come on, friend. Decent little upgrade. No, oh, no, I know. Decent little upgrade. Yeah. Alright, there's our second upgrade. That's the one I just caught. I think this gets pretty funny too. White and green are our two smallest. Yep. Hey, um, go on that maps, go towards where I was, because that was just the tip of it, you know? So just kind of go back and forth. As long as you're, that where that wipe, oh, go, sorry. Back, there you go. So go kind of towards where that icon is, and that trail behind that icon is where, is where we're making it happen. Oh my God. Wieners at home. This has been such a fun day of fishing. I don't know if we're gonna make the cut with this, but we did good. We're doing good. We're not done yet. What's awesome is even though we did get a late start today, we also get a later finish, which means we have a lot of time to fish. It's not even 
noon yet. We've got a limit we've called twice. We've got good calls too. Spot number two is very generous to us. Let's get out of here. Let's go find some fresh water. Literally fresh water. A series of waypoints I laid down and for the life of me, I don't know why. Uh, it's pretty shallow over here, but I must have seen something that I liked. Is this the spot where I had the small? No. That was close to the river. Or, or I said, yeah, I had the small one of jerkbait. Yeah, I don't know why we're here, but we're gonna try it out. Give it a little sneaky peeky. We need to call some twos. We need a couple more threes and we'll be looking fresh as hell. There is bait in the spot though, which is good. Him though. Steelhead. Loosen <laughs> the drag up, turn into him steelhead. It's not that big. Just keep fishing. It's a good sign though. There's another fish. This is not gonna help us, but any bite in this boat is welcome on the drag and drop. Thank you. Bye. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, dude, big one, 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 way up high, way up high, big one, way up high. Good one, good one, dude. Oh my. I think it's big, is it? I think so. Can it help us? What do you eat, the jerk bait or the drop shot? No, drop shot, there's two more down there with him. I still can't get that big one to eat. The big one's probably twice the size, like I'm not even kidding. That big one is huge. Nope. Nice job, thanks, man. I don't know. He's like a high two, so it just popped right out. That's a good fish. I don't know if he's gonna help our our stringer though. What I say, white small? Yes. Oh shit. Good. Left is heavier. This one. Yep, we'll take that. I'll take this one, I'll put it take back. Get that one on the That's a third call of the day. Right now, I think this the, one's going back, correct? Yes, okay. let's go back. Okay. I think the green is now smaller. There's a call. There's a call. Oh, yep, there's some small. Little. Oh my, f please. Oh my god, he's gonna, he's gonna eat it again. That's a big one. There's a, there's a school, yeah, a little, there's a school. I didn't even try that, tie, just take the time to tie that drop shot back up. Not gonna help us though. Shmali. On, good one. Talk to you. Yeah, nice fish. Might help us, man. Might help us. That's gonna help us. Let's go, dude. Is this gonna help us? On a hair jig. That's wicked. Keep fishing. I got him. Here's Ryan's fish. It's probably about a three pounder. Let's see which one is bigger. Oh, they're close. Look at this. They're close. Hang on. Wait for them to stop flopping. That one's heavy, right? Yep. Mega call there, dude. That's a three pounder all day. We have a two pounder that we need to call. Bye bye. See you later, two pounder. Nice fing job there, bud. Oh, I almost fell in. I think that fish you caught was the one that I saw came up and followed mine. There's like four of them, a couple on the bottom, too. Just came off, probably. Got him. Good one. How big? You gonna keep? Gonna call? Yep. Seriously? Oh yeah. oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh my god, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, it's a giant, dude. That's a giant. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Hey, man, that. <laughs> that's a good fish. That's a good fish. All right, you keep pushing. I, I gotta figure out what's going on back here. Yeah, he's mutilated, musky. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep I need, I need my oh, hair. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you go fish. Give me. No, my it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I got this here. It's probably about a three. Oh God, this is where it gets difficult. Don't stress yourself out, sister. Look at that. Look at that call. Let's go, buddy. It's awesome.
It's awesome. Pretty much have a box full of threes now. I would I would have to say. Good. Good, good, good. Another one gone, another two pounder gone. Whew. Wow. Nicely done. Good one. Good one, dude. How big was that? He just broke me off. What? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I was due for a retie. Damn it. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. We're out of here. We gotta be happy with what we have. Yep, we gotta be happy with what we have. Yep, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, graph is going off. Give a little kiss. Show us some love and appreciation. Well, guys, we're going. We're leaving. We got like a quite the rip back. No, it's all good, Ryan. Yeah, because last time I did that with your aunt, I uh, came in late. Two fifteen. Jonathan and Ryan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, we made it back safe and sound. Got to give credit where credit's due. The tracker absolutely ate up the St. Clair dust. Practically any wind out here, but what makes this lake so nasty this time of day, especially on the weekend, is all the other boaters, and it's just a big bowl. So, you know, you've just got chop bouncing from one bank to the other, and it was nasty. We went 30, 35 the whole way there. Not too bad. Looks like our, all of our fish are doing good. Just recirculated the live well with the actual lake water. Don't want to do that in here because this water back here is warmer and it's also dirtier. Not good for those smallmouth that just came out of really clean Canadian water. I'm not gonna guess how much we have, but I'm, I'm really happy. The energy is way up here compared to last time we weighed in in April uh, in Texas. I just had to go somewhere I'm not familiar with to, to catch fish. Absolutely. I, I fished here a couple of times and we, we did really good. A Jonathan and Ryan, 1972 was their weight. You get it, 1972, okay. Put it in there, needs to weigh. Five before it can weigh six, that's a good one. 544, but no cigar. Well, we are back. Fast forward a couple weeks from the Lake Michigan Derby. We're up in Maine. I had forgotten to formally and officially close out this video. A lot was going on. You know, I, I just really was super exhausted from fishing, essentially for the past four days, chasing after big smallmouth and trying to cut a check and trying to, to qualify. And uh, I just put the camera down, hopped in the truck, and we went all the way back to Texas. But we're here in Maine now, just getting some much needed R&R chilling. And this is where I wanted to wrap up today's video. You guys still don't know the outcome. Um, what we placed, you do know the weight. We had 19.74, 19 point something. I don't know, but it's a really respectable bag of brown bass given the fact that the previous two days absolutely sucked. And when I was there, you know, early, early August, where you guys first started the video, um, it was especially difficult as well. Now time for the moment of truth. Enough blabbering. I'm on uh, the US Bass Opens website. We're gonna take a look at the tournament results uh, for that St. Clair Derby, which by the way, was quite some time ago, but like I said, I'm wrapping up today's video here. You'll just have to be patient with me. Qualifier one, qualifier two, qualifier three, qualifier four, qualifier five. Lake St. Clair, Michigan, August 21st. First place, got 24 pounds. That's insane. That's like almost a five pound average. Scrolling down, scrolling down, here it is. In 48th place out of 250 boats, John B, Ryan Gideon for 19.72. We didn't make the cut. Unfortunately, we uh, we were, I mean, let's see, hang on. What would we have needed to make the cut? An extra pound and some change to have placed top 40 and to have gone on to the million dollar tournament. Um, we didn't, you know, it just didn't happen. And honestly, I'm totally okay with that. Although I've invested so much time and Lord knows how much coin into uh, making this happen. I did it not not because I, I, I thought I was gonna win or I needed to win. I didn't need this so badly. I just wanted to do something differently. And as you guys probably can um, can tell this season, um, I've been really amped up and fired up to fish derbies and tournaments. It's something I, I've never really gotten a chance to do on this channel for you guys. And this year I've fished probably a dozen tournaments, this one being one of the bigger ones next to the Ray Roberts Derby. And it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. I it's, it's expensive, it's time consuming, and it requires a lot of mental energy, which I hardly have any of, but it's it's a lot of fun. And this is like the closest we've gotten uh, in one of these tournaments to actually 
place. I mean, out of 250 boats, we did pretty good, especially for one guy being up in Maine and myself being in Texas. I don't fish St. Clair. I don't know what the hell those fish were doing, but we did find some and it was an amazing time and it was an amazing video. And I seriously hope you guys enjoyed. Before we do close out, I want to show you guys what two baits we caught those fish on and then we'll wrap it up because I know a lot of you guys are interested in the whole uh, technical aspect of how we get it done in the water. Okay, so there's two lures that Ryan and I strictly used to catch all of our keepers. By the way, Ryan had three of our keepers. We called with two of Ryan's giant fish in the last 30 minutes of the tournament. He shot to Ryan. He's not here right now. He's actually up in Maine, but he's busy buying a house right now. So I wanted to have him down here, but it just didn't work out. But yeah, this is what Ryan was throwing. Something that is just so, this is like a boomer lure and a half. Ryan decided to pick up, he had this weird instinct later in the day to pick up a hair jig with a junior Kraken craw on the back. He was cutting it in half, put it on the back of a hair jig and he was just bouncing it through that, uh, that sparse grass on the bottom. And he caught like two, four pounders, which called our like little, you know, three and two and a half pounders that we already had in the box. Absolutely insane. This is a lure that I've actually caught a lot of good smalls on, but I've never heard anyone using it in St. Clair. I'm sure they do, but it's just like, wow, that was weird. He had this weird uh, sixth sense to pick this thing up and it actually worked out really well. So while he was doing that, I was filling out a limit with none other than one of my favorite drop shotting baits. That is a drag and drop, Google baits drag and drop. This is the regular size, not the big one. And the color I was throwing was in that green pumpkin pearl. I don't know why they were so keen on the green pumpkin pearl, but it was either that or the, I think it was the darker color, which was like the sunset bug, I believe. That's what they were keen on. I, I think a lot of the fish that were in that area, which was on the Canadian side, they were eating little tiny like silver side minnows and that, drag and drop looks so much like those minnows. It's the same size. More often than not, when I would make a cast, they'd eat it on the way down. So it wasn't even like I was, <laughs> it was weird. It was like, I, I didn't even really need to use a drop shot. I could have just used a jig head with a drag and drop, but um, it was nice for those fish that were glued to the bottom. A lot of them were suspended. A lot of them were on the bottom, but a lot of the more aggressive fish were off the, uh, off the bottom and, and closer to the surface, which is usually the case for smallmouth. If you find a fish that is just kind of hanging high, usually it's a fish that's active and feeding. Anyway, that's how we made it happen. So proud of our results. I, I want to do this again. I hope to do this again next year. That I believe they're doing another U.S. Bass Open. You guys will have to let us know in the comments if, if you think we should keep at it and uh, see if we can maybe one year qualify for the uh, the big, big derb. Hope you guys enjoyed this long video. I'm Peace and Out signing out. Thank you for watching. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.